Good afternoon, friends. I was away from Facebook for about a week. And while in this break, while I was traveling and meeting people, I realized that because of the various pressures on life, financial, emotional, social, political, whatever situation we are going through in life, people are fighting to just far too much. And we are losing the most beautiful skill and one of the fine skill and that is the that is forgiving others. My friend, today I'm going to give you a talk on the power of forgiveness. The most important skill is to learn is the power of forgiveness. Forgiving others for their mistake not only free you to love again but allows you to forgive yourself for not being perfect yourself. Forgiveness allows us to give our love, uh, uh, allows us to give our love again and helps us to open up both to give and also to receive love. The most, more you love someone, the more you suffer. When you don't forgive them, Someone is very beautifully said. If you want to love someone or if you want to like someone, before when you make a befriend someone, ensure that you make a graveyard in your heart and keep putting all those mistakes or things which you do not like and continue forgiving friends. Now you must learn how to forgive. If when we were uh, children, our parents had asked for our, our forgiveness. When they made mistake, we would know how to forgive. If we had watched them forgive each other, we would better know how to forgive. If we had experienced being forgiven for our own mistakes, we could not only know how to forgive, but would have experienced first hand the power of forgiveness to transform others and strengthen the relationships because our parents did not know how to forgive we easily missed, misunderstand what it means emotionally that is associate forgive, some, forgiving someone with the realization that we did not we did what was not so bad after all real forgiveness is needed when something really bad or hurtful happens and there is no good reason for that. Real forgiveness acknowledge that a real mistake has been made and that, and that affirms that the person who made it still deserves to be loved and respected. It doesn't mean that you condone or agree with their behavior in any way. You acknowledge that a mistake was made, that you want corrected or at least not repeated. My friends, this again requires practicing. So, practicing forgiveness, the power to forgive is within us, all of us. But like any other skill, the most uh, uh, skill, we must practice this skill. In the beginning, a helpful phrase is, can, you can write out and think as, as nobody is perfect. So I forgive you for being imperfect. What you did was wrong. Nobody, nobody deserves to be treated the way you treated me. But Nobody uh, deserves the way you treated me. But, uh, but wh what you did was wrong, and I, but I still forgive you. I forgive, forgive you for not uh, uh, knowing a better. I wish you were the, uh, you ha you, you were the decency and respect that many humans uh, being deserves. I forgive you for making a mistake. 
all great people by their contact by forgiving others they leave a great message for humanity to follow is to forgive one another to rise about death beyond pain one has to forgive we can begin to forgive our our partners and others who hurt us when we can recognize that they really don't know what they are doing my friends why people don't forget you should also learn that why it is not easily practiced or easily done as is been said why forgiving is so difficult my friends people act and react in a non loving ways when they don't know better people bear grudges out of ignorance and innocence when they cannot experience a better way they they, they go for it no one is uh, in their heart of heart really wants to uh, withhold and punish it is merely the only way he or she knows to react when another person disrespects them my friends when men and women fail in the relationship it is not because they are not loving we are born with love in our hearts and a purpose to fulfill we experience pain in our relationships because we do not know how to share our love in ways that work it is naive to assume my friends that we can live peacefully and happily in this world when we cannot live peacefully happily with the people you are living around and this can only happen you cannot make a peaceful world without being yourself living peacefully with the people you are associated with my dear friends practice and deliberately inculcate this habit of forgiving others somebody said uh, uh, your, your 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 mind will keep on continuing having uh, giving you uh, negative talks or keeps on talking to you you must do this somebody insulted you somebody said this do this do this and i suggest you then the best way is make a sofa set in your brain also where you keep sitting and let your mind ask you any questions anything you are telling it do don't react don't listen become deaf keep watching is called creating a gap in the mind and you realize after some time those thoughts disappear the moment you react and attend to them you have created less problem for the other but more problem for yourself my friend learn the art of forgiving and then only you realize the pleasures of forgiving forgive people and let it go your life will be transformed you'll be at peace with yourself and you'll surely be a better human being thank you very much